Dear students, today we are going to discuss about pocket dosimeter. A dosimeter is a device to measure radiation exposure or energy absorbed at a point in a medium which is exposed to ionizing radiations. We have discussed about the different types of dosimeters in our previous class and today we are going to discuss about a pocket dosimeter. A pocket ionization chamber, otherwise called as a pocket dosimeter, is the most sensitive type of personal dosimeter. Finally, the pocket dosimeter resembles an ordinary fountain pen. But it contains a slender cylindrical ionization chamber that measures radiation exposure. A clip on the eyepiece end allows the dosimeter to be attached to an individual's apparel and hence the name pocket dosimeter. Dosimeters are used to provide the wearer with an immediate reading of his or her exposure to x-rays and gamma rays and as the name implies they are commonly worn in the pocket. The two types commonly used in industrial radiography are the direct rate pocket dosimeter and the digital electronic dosimeter. So let us discuss in detail. First is about the direct reading pocket dosimeter. A direct reading pocket ionization dosimeter is generally of the size and shape of a fountain pen. So it is shown in this figure. The dosimeter contains a small ionization chamber with a small volume of approximately 2 milliliters. Inside the ionization chamber is a central wire anode and attached to this wire anode is a metal coated quartz fiber. When the anode is charged to a positive potential, the charge is distributed between the wire anode and the quartz fiber. Electrostatic repulsion deflects the quartz fiber and the greater the charge, the greater the deflection of the quartz fiber. Radiation incident on the ionization chamber produces ionization inside the active volume of the chamber. The electrons produced by the ionization are attracted to the positively charged central anode and they are collected by the, charge, the positively charged central anode. This collection of electrons reduces the net positive charge and allows the quartz fiber to return in the direction of the original position. The amount of movement is directly proportional to the amount of ionization which occurs. By pointing the instrument at a light source, the position of the fiber may be observed through a system of built through a system of built-in lenses. The fiber is viewed through a translucent scale which is graduated in units of exposure. Typical industrial radiography pocket dosimeters have a full scale reading of about 200 millirogens but there are designs that will record higher amounts also. During the shift the dosimeter reading should be checked frequently. The measured exposure should be recorded at the end of each shift. The principal advantage of a pocket dosimeter is its ability to provide the wearer an immediate reading of his or her radiation exposure. It also has the advantage of being reusable. The limited range, inability to provide a permanent record and the potential for discharging and reading loss due to dropping or bumping are a few of the main disadvantages of a pocket dosimeter. The dosimeter must be recharged and recorded at the start of each working shift. Charge leakage or drift can also affect the reading of a dosimeter. 
leakage should not be greater than 2 percentage of full scale in a 24 hour period. Digital electronic dosimeter is another type of pocket dosimeter. This dosimeter records dose information and dose rate. This dosimeter most often use Gijamulla counters. The output of the radiation detector is collected and when a predetermined exposure has been reached, the collected charge is discharged to trigger an electronic counter. The counter then displays the accumulated exposure and dose rates in digital form. Some digital electronic dosimeters include an, an audible alarm feature which emits an audible signal or chirp with each recorded increment of exposure. Some models can also be set to provide a continuous audible signal when a preset exposure has been reached. This format helps to minimize the reading errors associated with direct reading pocket ionization chamber dosimeters and allow the instrument to achieve a higher maximum readout before resetting is necessary. That's all. Thank you.